Okay, now we're at the gap. It won't go any further because I have this large gap here. I've got to get more stators here and here and here and here. Looks like what's going to have to happen is that they're going to have to be stators, um, either sets of two or just simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Approximately eight stators. Could be a little bit more, maybe, maybe ten. But what happens is that we have this gap here. There's this approximately seven inch gap, there's no magnets. And what's going on here is that this thing powers up on its own. I have drag here using this card, a card stock like you the old days like children did with bicycle cards on a bicycle, using clothesline pins, and uh, I can put my finger on the wheel on the top here and put some drag on it, and it still keeps going. I can feel it, um, it's power. I can actually feel power in this thing. And so it's powering through the card and and with my finger dragging on top of it. Now, the way I've designed this in the past has been very successful. Is that here's the gap I was telling you about. So we have a lead magnet and then all the way around a chain of magnets. And we'll call this last one the caboose, like on a train. So the last magnet in the chain, or the caboose, is the uh, one that becomes the lead magnet because it's, it's the last one, or should I say first one, to get to this next data. So what happens is, is that as this gets here, it's pulling. It's pulling on the wheel. See the pull? But while it's pulling this one, it's helping to pull this first lead one through the stator. Once this clears it, it'll just keep right on going on, on its own. Listen to the click of the card. Now we're at the end of the stator again. See, here's the gap. So until I get more stators up, I'm not going to have enough speed, so it will jump the gap. Now, I've had three stators on this before, and the more stators I put on, the faster it goes. So once I achieve enough speed, this gap will jump these stators, and it should just keep right on going like that. You see, I didn't need much more speed. Just a little bit more speed and we have it. So anyway, that's where we stand with this right now. But absolutely unequivocally, I used to have a theory that I could make magnets, the magnetism of the armature magnets, leapfrog from one to the next magnet across my specially made one-way stator. Um, and that no longer is a theory. The theory is dead. It is now absolute scientific fact, not opinion. It's not a theory that we can in fact cause these magnets while one magnet is leaving this stator because it gets a little bit of speed on it. The next magnet behind it, this one here, is now trying to pull against this. And then the next one, and the next one. So what's happened is that this stator is basically leapfrogging from this one to this one to this one to this one. But instead of the stator having to move, the armature magnets on the wheel do the moving. So that's why this works. So anyway, so we now have a magnetic leapfrogging effect. And this has power in it. This has torque. Very little torque. Very, very, very little torque. But it has more than enough torque to power it around. This card won't stop it. And if I put my finger lightly and create light drag with my finger on the wheel, it doesn't slow down and stop. It keeps right on going. 
which means we have power. We have torque. So my theory is dead. It's no longer a theory. It is now a scientific fact. You can indeed make magnets by themselves do work. Suppose I've been told over and over again, it is impossible, absolutely impossible, to make magnets do work by themselves because it goes against our current laws of physics. Well, by God, these magnets here are doing work. I don't give a crap who says what. This is working. So now once I get the speed up a little bit more, this additional stators, it'll have just enough speed, about this much speed, which is not much, to jump over that gap. Here comes the gap. See? Jump right over it just fine. And I see it's almost going fast enough now. Uh, still made it. So as you can see, it's not going to require much more speed to keep this thing going around perpetually. Perpetually, that is, until the magnets die out. Because as we know, magnets passing over magnets degauss each other. And degaussing means to reduce the magnetic field. So these magnets become weaker and weaker and weaker over time. We don't know if it's going to be 50 years, 100 years, 500 years. Nobody really knows. So only future generations will know how long this thing will turn. I won't live long enough um, unless it only will turn two or three years before it dies. But these are neodymium magnets. They're the best kind of magnets man can muster up. Although I'm now reading things on the web that we might have magnets that are even more powerful now. But I do not know that for a fact. So anyway, there you go. This is where I'm at. And we just need just a, a teensy, weensy little bit more of speed. And once we get that little bit more speed, then that gap right there will jump these stators and we should keep right on going indefinitely. I should be able to walk away, come back two or three months, come back to here, and this thing still be turning unless the bulb bearings wear out. However, what we'll do, I will do, is I'll uh, create magnetic bearings, if you will. And there's way there's no friction and there's no ball bearings to wear out. But anyway, as I was telling people on the web, you have to look at this as the earliest, earliest elementary stages of the first combustion engine. When the very first engine was so weak, it couldn't really do much work of any kind. It probably barely ran. Well, this barely runs. Actually, this doesn't run yet, but I'm going to fix that. So once this runs, just simply look at this as the earliest of early stages of magnetic motors. And eventually, 10 years, 20 years, 50, 100 years from now, this technology will overtake the entire world. And this will become the norm. Magnetic motors will be everywhere. So, anyway, just wanted to share this with you. This is how you do it. And by the way, these are um, um, neodymium magnets, N42, N is Nancy strength. It's a one inch circle magnet, quarter inch on top of a one inch by one inch square magnet that is also a quarter of an inch thick. This outside is, um, I don't know if this is the north or this is the south. I've forgotten now, but this is opposite. So if this is north, this is the stator south. And if this is stator south, then the, then the I mean the armature south, and this is north. Anyway, I'm using opposites to, to attract. And so this is an, an attraction mode. And that's how this works. Uh, these are uh, one inch, or I think one inch tall by one inch across. Uh, neodymium magnets. These are cylinder magnets, if you will. And I was using these here and here to balance out the flux. I seem to have had a little bit of flux uh, strength problems. Flux is the measure of the magnetic field around the magnets. And all these magnets apparently are not exactly the same strength. So they varied, which creates little hills, if you will. A hill, uh, like, you, like a car going up and down a hill. So well, these magnets are weaker and then some are stronger. It creates hills and the magnetic flux around the wheel. And I was using these to help kind of balance that hill, to balance the hills or 
push those hills down to flatten the hills. Um, anyway, that's basically all there is right now that's fit to print. Uh, but that's where I'm at with this now. Now it's just a matter of me getting a few more stators on here to get the speed up, and then we should be home free. So a little bit more speed. As you'll see, this will work just fine. Uh, didn't have enough speed. A little bit more speed. About like that. There you go. Let me take this card off. Okay, just jump the gap. Now this is pretty slow. Will it jump the gap at this speed? Uh, yes! Okay. It has to go at least that fast. So I'm going to have to get this wheel going that fast. I think one, maybe two more stators will get the speed up enough and then we'll have that speed and then we should be home free. But don't count your chickens before they hatch because when I put in two more stators, it could throw a monkey wrench into this and something new could arise that may cause this wheel uh, not to jump the gap. Um, it could cause new drag that I don't haven't predicted yet. Anyway, but we'll see. I've had three stators on this before in the past, and when I added more stators, the faster the wheel went. So I'm just trying to be realistic here. It's not running yet. Okay, it doesn't run yet, but I am very, very close. But close doesn't count. Okay. That's it. It let's you observe this a little bit. Give a good little push. And you can just watch the physics. By the way, you can uh, learn more about my research what I'm doing at um, freemagneticenergy.info. That's freemagneticenergy.info. It's a website that I hope to. Um, I hope we'll put up all my findings and research there once I have everything completely working. Uh, one more time. Oh, I made it. That was going pretty slow and it's still, the gap still crossed over the stators. Don't think it's going to make it this time. Uh, oh, it did. Oh my gosh. Boy, I was really going slow and it still made it and it's still going. But it's not going to go this time. Okay, so we now have a pretty good sense that this doesn't have to go much faster. Just a little bit faster. I've estimated the revolutions of this is approximately six revolutions per minute. It takes about 10 seconds or so per each revolution for it to go around one time. Um, so if I get it up, I guess, to eight revolutions a minute, maybe nine revolutions a minute, it should be more than enough energy to make you jump this gap here, which is seven inches approximately. And once I get this to jump this gap repeatedly, that's it. The rest is history. We're home free. We officially will have a working magnetic motor. It truly and absolutely unequivocally works no matter what anybody says otherwise from post on the web about my research. All right, that's it. Adios, thanks for watching.